Hey, welcome back. Jordan here, and today we're going to go over the fastest workflow in Automatic 1111. We'll start off with which is the fastest sampling method. We'll go into blocking out the images, detailing, and refining. Follow along if you have a machine that has more than 6 gigs of VRAM. Don't worry, I'll be making the fastest workflow for low VRAM machines next week. Let's start with the requirements. We will need Automatic 1111, ControlNet, Stable Diffusion version 1.5 model, Stable Diffusion XL and Refiner models, the ControlNet Canny model, and the 4x Ultra Sharp upscaler. All of the download links are in the description. I tested all of the sampling methods to see which ones are the fastest. The two fastest samplers are DPM++ 2M Keras and UniPC. You could access this table from the link in the description. Both of these samplers are good options. UniPC has a higher quality at lower steps, which is good for the blocking out step, and DPM++ 2M Keras is a bit faster and has better quality at higher steps for the detailing and refining steps. But OK results at low steps. The first step is blocking out your image. We're going to be generating a series of very low step images to find the basic shape that we like. And then we're going to take that and use it as a canny mask for the detail step. Think of it like shaping a sculpture. You start off with a chunk of clay and then you shape it into the basic shape that you want and then you add the finer details. This approach saves you time in real life because if you add the finer details to begin with, it takes longer to correct later on. By taking these principles to Automatic 1111, it will help speed up your workflow. Okay, let's start blocking out the image. First, let's make sure that the checkpoint we're using is Stable Diffusion 1.5 and then keep the prompt general and basic. We will add more detail in the next step. Let's change the sampling steps to five and the batch count to 12. Go to settings, optimizations, and crank up negative guidance and token merging. These two settings help speed up your image generation. All right, let's click generate. Here we have 12 images to choose from. If you don't like any of these, you could click Generate again and keep doing that until you find the shape that you want. Now that you've blocked out your image and have the general shape that you want, the second step is detailing the image. We're going to use the original image as the canny mask for the new generation. Click on Enable, Canny. Let's change this to Canny Full. Change the control weight to 0.3. Change this to 1024 and the canny low threshold and high threshold to 50. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Great. Now let's go back up and we will change the batch count down to 1. We'll change the sampling steps up to 20. And then we'll change the width and height to 1024 to 1024. Now it's time to update your prompt. Look at your fuzzy image and imagine a scene. Mine looks like it's a woman in the desert. So I'll use this as my prompt. A portrait of a realistic woman, orange shirt, sun hat, in a desert, shot from a camera. Now let's go to the checkpoint and change it to the Stable Diffusion XL Base 1. Now click Generate. Looks good. It kept the same shape that we wanted, but with more detail. Let's move on to the last step, refining the image. We will go into Settings and change this back to 0, since this is the final step for generating our image. Now we will go down to the control net here and we will update this to our new image. 
we will update this to pixel perfect. Change this back to one. Change the threshold to 50 for both of them. Scroll back up, click on high res fix, change the upscaler to four times ultra sharp, change the denoising strength to 0.5. Click on the refiner for the checkpoint, select the SDXL refiner and leave it at 0.8. And now click generate. There you go, a beautiful 2K image. We started from blocking out the image to detailing it and then refining it. This whole process took me a generation time of two minutes and 48 seconds. If you want the image to generate even faster, you can turn off the refiner, which will have a very small effect on the generation. You can also lower the denoising strength for faster generation speed, but this will have a large effect on the quality of the generation. That's it for this video. Do you have any tips that help increase your workflow? Let me know in the comments below. Next week, I'll be going over this workflow for low VRAM machines. Are you trying to squeak out some extra performance from Automatic 1111? Well, take a look at this video here. All right, that's it for this one. See you next time. Bye.